Using CINAHL headings is a good way to start your search to ensure that you find the exact subject headings for the concept you are researching. CINAHL headings describe what the article is about. Our research topic is Intercultural Aspects of Informed Consent. We enter our first search term, Intercultural, in the Browse box. We have no hits, so we'll modify the Browse term to Culture. Culture is the correct CINAHL heading. Clicking on the Scope link reveals how CINAHL defines this term. We select the Culture checkbox to add the term to our search. We then perform our first search. We go back to CINAHL headings to browse for our second search term. We type our second concept, Informed Consent. This note tells us the correct CINAHL heading term, Consent. We select the Consent link. A window opens displaying consent with other CINAHL headings. This is a good time to examine our term in the context of broader or narrower terms and see if it's the most suitable. CINAHL offers a number of ways to expand and narrow our search, but it's generally best to start with a general heading search and then explode it, use major headings, or choose quantify subheadings depending on our results. Checking the explode box searches consent plus any narrower headings, in this case duty to warn. It gives us more results. Explode appears only when a narrower heading appears under the heading we're searching. We'll leave it unchecked for now. Checking the major concept box limits the search to documents where consent is a major subject. This will reduce the number of results. We'll leave it unchecked for now. We can select subheadings to narrow our results. Searching one subheading will narrow our search to only articles with that subheading. Subheadings are joined by OR, so adding subheadings increases the number of hits. If we leave them all blank, we search all of them. To search consent, we select the checkbox. Clicking search looks for all the terms and subheadings under consent. This search yields a large number of results. We will narrow it by combining its results with those from our first search. To refine our results, we'll select the search history alerts link. We choose the searches to combine. In this case, we'll choose only S1, Culture, because our second search, Consent, is still in the search window. We will AND our two searches looking for only articles with both Consent and Culture, and click the ADD button. To hide the search history alerts display and show the results list below, we click the triangle to toggle it shut. Our combined CINAHL heading search gives us 68 results. We can begin to look at our results, or if we want to focus our results and reduce the numbers, add a major heading limit. To add a major heading limit, go back to the CINAHL headings. We'll redo our culture search. We select the culture checkbox and add major concept. After researching the term, we return to our search history. However, this time we'll select the Consent checkbox to add it to the search. Click the Add button, ensuring that we combine our searches using AND. The Search History window gives us a list of the number of hits we get with each search. We can choose to view the results of any of our searches or continue to add terms or limits to narrow our search further. When we're happy with the quality and number of results, we can begin to choose which ones to use. If we want to change our search, it is easy to return to the search history page and rerun or recombine searches. This ends the CINAHL heading search. For more tutorials, return to the menu.